Hello. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Guess what? I'm going on another private pick for my antique booth. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't know. I've had some really good luck this year. Um, a lady that works for my husband, her grandmother passed away and her sister um, was in charge of the estate. And so she is getting ready to have a garage sale. And she told me that I could come and look early. <laughs> so yay, yay for me. <laughs> um, I talked to her yesterday and she said that she has some depression glass. She has some furniture. Um, she has some old bowls. Um, I'm trying to think of what all she said she had. But, you know, the things that she told me she had, it sounded very interesting. So, I'm headed that way. Um, it is in Junction City is where I'm headed. So... I'm hoping that when I get over there, she'll let me do a little bit of video footage for you guys so you can kind of see, you know, what all she had. And then afterwards, I'll do a, a little haul video and show you all, you know, what I bought if I buy anything. You know, I don't really know what her prices are going to be or if I'm going to be able to make any money on it. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So here we go. <laughs> show you guys what I found. <laughs> Alright y'all. <laughs> you see this? Again, here we go. Um, the, the cab part is full. My passenger side over here is pretty full. And the bed's full. <sighs> this was a really good pick. I paid $285 for everything I got. I got there at, I left my house this morning at nine, got to her house at 10, and it is now uh, seven minutes till three. So if that tells you how long I've been there. When I first went in, the stuff that I showed you all uh, earlier, <clears throat> that was not all the stuff. I thought that was all of it. No, the whole other side of the garage was full of boxes that she hadn't even gone through. So. I just kind of went through. She said, just go. If you, if you don't mind, you just go through boxes. And I said, honey, I don't mind one bit. <laughs> I'm so glad that the girl that works for my husband, Elizabeth, that she, you know, told my husband about it because that was a really good pick. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you all. Yay! <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> if you'll pardon my garage, um, I have everything laid out that I bought. Um, I will go over here and start on um, this other area over here and we'll just kind of go through it all. This is going to be a long video, so grab you some coffee. <laughs> okay, so I got this cart right here and uh, it's a little bit dirty. I need to clean it up. I'm keeping this cart for myself, but as you can see, it has electricity on it and it does work. Um, this is a little uh, piggy bank I got. This is a crate. Um, oh, and I forgot to, well, I told you all earlier, I paid $285 for everything I'm going to show you. Um, this porcelain nativity set, this um, coffee, you can see how dirty all this stuff was. This um, coffee container, I'm sure it was probably a set, um, but all, the, all there was was the coffee container. Um, these crates, all of these crates right here, and then there's another crate right back there. Um... These items, little porcelain um, 
tea teapot there. This Martha and George Washington salt and pepper shaker. This little guy, I don't know if it, you do put Parmesan cheese. I'm not sure what goes in here. Some of this stuff I have done a little bit of research on. Some of it I've done no research. So if you all know anything about any of this stuff, just like in my last haul video where I asked you to comment and let me know, please do that. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know anything about this stuff. This is an old um, uh, measuring cup like that. And this old ashtray still has ashes in it from the Sahara Club in Las Vegas. Um, down here we have a crock, a little ring uh, holder, a Muppets cup or, or uh, cup glass. Um, this is a little, I guess, um, measuring. I don't know if that's a jigger for uh, you know booze or what that's for. This little Coca-Cola, it's real tiny, Coca-Cola glass. Another little piggy bank. Um, this little dog. And he's got Japan on the bottom. Like I said, I've not done research on a lot of this stuff. Um, this egg holder down here. This little um, salt and pepper shaker here of the African American people. And this jar of lids for uh, jars. And I was watching somebody, I can't remember who it was, and they said that if you can buy these, like several of them, it's good to lot them up and sell them. So that's probably what I'll do. Probably put those on eBay. Uh, this old jar. Um, this lunch, this is a lunch pail. And it is from the 1930s. Um, the lady that I bought from, her grandmother had put notes in a lot of the stuff, what it was and what year it was from. So she had a note inside this little box and it was a lunch pail that she carried in the 19, I think it was 1936. Um, this is a refrigerator container, I think for butter. Um, these old shoes, and I knew that they were old when I first saw them because the tag in there, you can see. Um, so I thought those were kind of cool. This little, container here and it has a lining that goes in it and I think there's like some jewelry and little things in there not anything that's worth anything um, this little iron I believe that that was a when they came in and uh, sold you irons that was like a little um, what's the word I'm looking for well you all know what I mean <laughs> it's so hot I'm burning up this is a I haven't looked this up but this is a kerosene iron. I thought that was really neat. I'd never seen anything like that. This old Bible. Um, this little piece here. Got Japan on the bottom. This little elf guy here. Japan. Um, this is an old pin cushion. This old doll. Um, all these wooden spoons. Um, this old picture here. Like that and this glass jar with this bubbled out lid on it this right here I think is from the maybe the 20s or 30s and I'm guessing that this was maybe a flappers cigarette case like that one of the little beads is missing but still yet I thought it was really cool uh, this is an old cigarette case from the 70s I believe this is a tea infused. I guess you put tea leaves in there for tea, maybe, or coffee or something. Um, this little tea set. This little Mickey Mouse guy. I did a little bit of research on him. He's not worth a whole lot. These two little guys here. Um, <laughs> my friend came over a little, little, bit, little bit ago and she said her grandmother used to have these in her house. Um, a paperweight. This old iron right here that's really heavy. <laughs> this string holder. Um, a colander. And this old tray. Thought that was kind of cool. All this, a lot of this stuff's real dirty. Um, this is an old bread box. I'm not sure what year this is from, but if I were to guess, I would guess maybe 40s, 30s, 40s. Um, I thought these were cool. Uh, there's Paul. 
and mall. <laughs> um, these little pig salt and pepper shakers. Um, this little container here, which I believe is for coffee. Um, this jar. I did do research on these. I got three of these. And these are for a uh, bird cage. And you put the bird food in there and you slide that on the cage and the bird eats out of it. Um, three of those that are glass. Two of them are exactly alike and the other one's a little different. This big um, hook thing. Don't, don't really know what that is. It's got combs on it. Um, these two little ceramic girls. That one and that one. And this right here, I believe, is from the 50s. I'm not sure if that's a spoon rest or what that is. These two pieces of depression glass, I think this is a butter dish and a pitcher. And this right here on the bottom, it has hull. I thought that um, hull was worth more than what I thought it was, <laughs> but when I looked it up, it's not going for a whole, whole lot. Um, this little thing here, um, this is an automatic drill. Um, I got that for my husband because I thought he might think, think that was pretty cool. These, sorry about this guys, but this is the best way that I knew how to show you all. These three pictures. And then there's that one. And that one. And you can tell those are, well, those are fairly old. Um, this old Clorox bottle. Oh, sorry, my finger's in the way. <laughs> um, these are for canning, that you lift the jar out of the canning water. And this one's really old. Squeeze it together to grab the jar. Um, a big bin clock. That. Maxwell House coffee cup, Campbell's tomato soup coffee cup, those aren't worth a whole lot. A piece of pink depression glass, and I have a ton of depression glass. So I'll just kind of scan over and kind of show you guys the, dep the depression glass that I got. Um, those two pieces right there are also hull pieces. Um, like I said, I've looked those up. They're not going for a ton. Uh, if you know a little bit more about hull, let me know. This thermos is lamb chop. And I thought that might be worth some pretty good money, but apparently not. I really haven't found one online like that. Um, this piece right here. Sorry, I'm having to step over all this stuff to show you guys. Um, this piece right here, I wasn't really sure about it on the bottom. It has Empire. I haven't done any research on this yet. Porcelain Empire, 55 of 1637. So I'm not real sure about that. A few more depression glass. Um, these right here, I told my husband, I think what these are for, I could be totally wrong but if they're for matches, and you hang that on the wall and you put your matches in there. Um, he said he didn't think that's what they were, but if you guys know what they are, let me know. Uh, these two little birds here, and they just have marked on the bottom USA, so haven't done research on those. Up here, we have a little bride and groom porcelain set, um, a scale, which I need to kind of work on. Um, some old locks, and there is a cast iron owl and a skunk. Um, one of the corn molds, but it's a tiny one. It's not like the regular size one. That old truck has got made in Germany on the bottom. That is a powder case, um, and it has powder in it still. <laughs> um, an old sifter. This stool is an old organ or piano stool. And it has the claw feet, and the claw feet are are clutching a glass ball. 
and all of them are still there. So I looked this up. Um, it's going for pretty good money, but I, pray, I paid pretty good money for it. Um, I paid 100 just for the stool alone. So basically the stool was 100 and everything else was 185. So I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm gonna to try to sell that or I might just keep it for myself. Um, these Coca-Cola ashtrays, not worth much, but I picked them up anyway. They still have the plastic on them, never been used. Um, this is an old purse. And it is from, I believe it's from 1963. Um, it says on the inside, the original box bag by Collins of Texas, hand decorated for you, copyright 1963. I believe that's what that says. So I thought that was kind of neat. Ugh. This casserole dish here, um, the lid has a chip on it, but I liked it. Tom's Roasted Peanuts. That came from an old general store. Um, this old tobacco hatchet, or tobacco cutting tool. <laughs> this is an old bank. Um, a barometer. This crock here. Um, this porcelain doll. Her head and hands are porcelain. This monkey, I don't know if he's worth anything, but I think I remember having one of them when I was little. This vintage 1970s, 60s or 70s ashtray I thought was really cool. Um, this doll, she's got the uh, eyes that open and close. When you turn her up, the eyes open. This old jug. This, <coughs> excuse me, butter churn. Um, and the emblem on there, I believe, I've looked, done a little bit of research on this, and that is from a company in Louisville uh, made this. And it does not have the churn paddle with it, it's just the crock. This set of glasses here, um, I have not done any research on those, but I believe there's eight, yeah, there's eight of those. This old doll here, and um, her hair, when I got her, was like all on top of her head and matted, and I was able to kind of brush it out. So she looks a little bit better, but I think the lady um, that I bought all this, the woman that owned all this stuff, I believe that she made this doll because her daughter told me that she made dolls. And I looked on the back, and the there is a date on the back of 1963 and it has a name on it. I tried to look it up and couldn't find anything so I'm thinking that she made this and another reason I think she made it is because the sewing on it is not, it's kind of wonky like, it's not real uniformed. Um, I could be wrong but anyway. Then I got all this old enamel, um, you know, two, two chamber pots and this bowl here, and this bowl here, and then this is a porcelain bowl. Um, is that all? I think that's about it. Um, that's quite a bit. Oh, this set right here. And I'll tell you about this set. It was funny because when she started pulling this out of the box, I told her, I said, you don't even have to pull all that out. Put it right back in there because I want it. <laughs> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this is from the 50s. Um, I guess, kind of guessed that, but just because of the colors, I could be wrong. If you know anything about this, um, please leave me a comment and let me know. Also, the quilt that all of this is setting on is just a quilt top. Um, it's not put together, but it's all been hand-stitched, and you all know me and my quilts, so I'm going to have this uh, done, finished. And then uh, this quilt right here, all of this has been hand stitched um, and it's just the top also so I'm gonna have that done so guys I believe that is it um, oh no wait there's a few more things over here these two little oil lamps here got those I'd never seen one like this brown one right here I thought that was kind of neat um, these little hangers right here <coughs> she's got a little sticker on there from 1953 
And then these two men's hats. This brown one is from the 30s. And it's kind of moth-eaten, which is bad, but it's still kind of cool. And this one here is from the 40s. Oh, also this table <laughs> that my fan is on because I'm burning up. This table right here, it's so dusty. I need to clean it up. I've got a few more things. <clears throat> Sorry. This little, that right there. And this cat. And I got a little bit of story about this cat. I was watching, I believe that it was Scott from the old curiosity shop had found one of these cats. And I looked those up and they are going for pretty good um, as far as what people are asking for them and what they have sold for. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't think that I've missed anything. Uh, I believe those were the last two things. I almost forgot about those. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, if you guys know anything about any of this stuff, please feel free to leave me a comment. Um, I always like your all's comments and your input on anything. Um, normally, <clears throat> in my antique booth, I sell more modern and new stuff. Uh, I do throw in a few antiques here and there, but this is totally, totally out of, you know, my realm as far as what I pick for my, for my booth. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I guess I will talk to you guys next time.